In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Amen. Dear friends, how beautiful to call you friends. And how beautiful to know again and again how Jesus was addressing his disciples, saying to them, you are my friends. How beautiful if our word will be changed in word of friends together, not enemies, not with hate, but with love. How beautiful is our society if we feel that we are friends together. Dear friends, I have still one talk about this wonderful expression of St. Luke about Jesus. He grow, is growing. Jesus is growing and you and me and all of us, we have to grow. The Holy Spirit is the agent for growth in our life. The liturgy is mentioning always the growth of salvation in us, in our Christian life, mission and vocation. It's the Holy Spirit himself who descends unto the apostle on Pentecost is still with us and is coming down to us like he did 2,000 years and more, not only in the Pentecost, but in the life of the four prophets. He was speaking in the prophets. So divine liturgy is really the presence of the work of the Holy Spirit in us. He is the guarantor of being able to grow in the faith just as he is working for 2,000 years in church, he is still working today with us in the church, in the parish, in the family, in the communities, in the fraternities, in the associations is always present. Jesus said, I will send you a helper, helper, Jesus said us. This is the task of the Holy Spirit to, uh, to be with us, to communicate with us in our daily life. As the Holy Spirit protected the church through 2,000 years, he is always able to protect us and to help us in our Christian life. So we pray in the third hour daily, O Lord, who sent your Holy Spirit upon your apostles in the third hour, let him not be away from us, but renew him in us. That is what we pray for, to let the Spirit make us able to grow. So I wish in these talks, dear friends, to strengthen you, especially in difficult times. I know as Patriarch Bishop, some priests are tired to be priests to continue their life. I know families tired to be Christian families, to be good people, to be good Christians. Some monks and nuns, long years of monastic life, they are tired. They have problems. They have crises. It is in the church always. For these people, the Holy Spirit is there to give them new power in their life to continue to grow in their Christian life. We have crisis, but we have this wonderful helper 
who is the Holy Ghost. That is what he pray in the third hour. Grant, we say in the prayer, and I pray that for you, dear friend. Grant to us, your servants, O Lord Jesus, a swift and sure consolation as our spirits are tired. O Lord Jesus, give us consolation. Do not separate yourself from our souls in the difficulty that we are experiencing today. Many places in the world, Corona and others, we need to say this prayer. Do not be away from us in the difficulty. Do not distance yourself from our mind in the moments of pain. But be able, be near to us, draw near to us. As you are everywhere, and as you were with your disciples, and you send them the Holy Spirit, so we ask you to send us this very Spirit, your Holy Spirit, that is what Jesus will do with us. He will help us. And I pray for people in crisis today, with all difficulties around us, we need this power of the Holy Spirit to continue to grow in our daily life. Dear friends, more I dare to say, Jesus wishes to grow in you. Not only Jesus to grow, not only you have to grow, but Jesus likes to grow through you. How wonderful. Imagine, God, Jesus is growing through me. Yes, Jesus himself preceded us and he grew in stature, in favor, in grace, and he is asking to grow in us and through us. He was sent and he was given power through the Holy Spirit. The same will be through us. So we are participating in the same grace of Jesus, of the Holy Spirit. Jesus loves to grow in you. He wants to grow in you and capable of growing in you. He is capable of making you grow in him. Jesus Christ, who worked miracles in the past time, he is able and willing to make miracles in you. Miracles of love, of faith, of service, of charity, of help. He is helping you. And as he did with the apostles, uh, saying to us, read your nets in Tiberias, you will find so many fish, your dwell. And we, with the, like the apostles, we say, we will launch our net and we will have trust in you. You can help us to grow in you. Yes. As Peter did, as the apostles did, as the saints did, as the martyrs said, since, as the confessors did, the ascetics, the monks, you can do. And so Jesus liked to love you and to grow in you. Dear friends, I like to finish this meditation about Jesus growing with a appeal to youth. I love the youth. I love and I need, and the church needs the enthusiasm of the youth. 
we love to repeat these words to ourselves and to others, and to repeat this slogan to young boys and girls, the people, monks, nuns, priests, and encourage them to spiritual life and to grow. It's beautiful to grow. Not to be on little, to grow. It is something very, very beautiful, very pleasant to breathe a new spiritual life, to be strong in the struggle, in the struggle of faith. And I can say a church without enthusiasm and passion, without love, and west, wide horizons, without vision and great desire, without this wonderful power, without this special vocation, with spiritual power, is not a church. A church without enthusiasm is not a church. With connection of that, I like to remember a splendid experience. I was participating in a big congress, the Catholic Germans, German Catholics in Dresden, in Germany. And it was wonderful celebration. Back to my hotel, I met young little group of youth sitting on the earth, on the street, and singing together beautiful song. The thing of Jesus needs enthusiasm. Singing happy, 12 nights after a long day, they were singing with such enthusiasm. The thing of Jesus needs enthusiasm. So dear friends, Christianity needs enthusiasm in order to be real Christian, we need this wonderful power of the Holy Spirit to grow and to be happy to be Christians, happy to be friends of Jesus, happy to serve and to love in our world and to help the growth in the church and the growth in the society and the growth in our world. La Cordaire, French thinker, said, if a soul is high, it can bring high and high. It can elevate people and the whole world with her. So let us grow together. Let us ask that may the Holy Spirit give us the power to grow in faith, in hope, and in love. God bless you. Thank you. Goodbye.